Okay, welcome to episode three of my show. Now, tonight I'm going to teach you a little trick. I was going to tell you the story about when I take Mr. Rogers to the Oscars, but then I thought, no, I'm getting tired of going to Oscars all the time. So, I'm going to tell you a little bit of background about this show. Everything is true. Yes, I was a limo driver. Yes, I was a taxi driver. Yes, I was a stuntman. Yes, I was a security guard. I was a bodyguard. I was a policeman. I was an actor. I was everything. And each one of these stories is just kind of thrown around a little bit, but they're still true. So, how did I come up with the idea? I came up with the idea by improvising. I had no idea that each show, who I was going to announce, I make up the name, I think of somebody, okay, Arnold Schwarzenegger, or I think about Jamie Lee Curtis, or whatever, and I, boom, put it on tape, and then I name it, and that's how I do it. There's no recording, no writing down, nothing here. Just a few trick elements like a phone that I can uh, use for sound effects. You know, like, you know, when I say, Oh no, the police are looking for me. Shh, shh. I'm camping. Shh, shh. I'm camping. Quiet. I have Oscar. I have Chihuahua. And I have my coffee with four creamers and four sugars, and four cinnamon sticks, and four pastelitos, and I am camping, and I'm fishing, yes, I'm fishing, and shh, shh, shh. be quiet, do you see, nobody know really where I'm from, shh, shh. I think they're gone, shh, they're still coming, okay, hold on one second, and I, I come back to show. Hold on. Shh. Shh. Stay quiet. Please don't know I'm here. I'm camping. I'm in Bath, Maine. Way up in the main next to the elk and the moose and the... Shh. In the campground. Far in the woods. They know. They're miles away. They miles away, don't we? It's pretty close. Wait, wait a minute, that was pretty close to... Oh, she... Uh, well, that's all for we have time for today. And I'll catch you guys next week on my show. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. Yeah, well, they're gone. I'm just joking around. But actually, that's how I put my show together. And it's all in fun. And I hope that these celebrities don't take it impersonal. Um, I want to send out an apology if The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, or Justin Bieber, or Ellen DeGeneres, if they took any offense to my show, I apologize. It's just all in fun. I apologize to Governor Arnold and uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, and I apologize to Mr. Jim Henson and Kermit the Frog. And I apologize to Wesley Snipes, and I apologize to Rod Stewart, and who else do I apologize to? But the point is, I have fun with the show, and I hope I made you laugh. I mean, I know. WTF, OMG, oh my God, not this guy. I'm Mr. Eccentric, I know that. And I hope you enjoyed all of my shows. Um, we are at the end of season four. <sighs> no budget. So, and plus I'm still being looked for by the police so anyways thank you so much for watching my show one more thing that's right folks don't forget coming up this October the show you've all been waiting for season Five. Caspar's campground.
that's all for tonight, folks. Thanks for watching. And I... Uh... Just joking, I'm still here. Why'd you all hang up on me? You're gonna miss the bloopers. You know who those are? Eric Estrada and Larry Wilcox from Chips. That's what it is. They're sitting outside my tent. You want to see something funny? Look, watch this. This is trick photography and TV. Watch. Look, I have TV behind me. Fireplace with my baby over there. You think I can't bigger hiding for police? I don't steal nothing. Goodbye. Love you all. Bye.